Okay, thank you for coming here today. Um, we have a committee of Diane Benson. We had LaVon Carr. And we had Peter and Vicki Perry on our committee. Now you'll notice that Peter and Vicki Perry aren't here today because they, said they have friends from Arizona. And I said, well, send them to a movie for a couple hours. But they wouldn't do it. So they're not here today. But, but uh, I don't know. We just thought this was a good time of year to have a get together. And if you're interested, uh, we thought maybe we'd make this an annual event. Yeah. So would you like to do that? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, make sure, if, if you didn't get an email from me, make sure you, that we have your name and contact info on our list here. Because I did miss a few people that were obvious, like Gayla Schmidt. Why didn't I remember her? <laughs> so, um, oh, here I am in the. So I did, I printed out a list of excuses that people, uh, I'm sorry, responses that people gave of why they wouldn't be here today. I, I thought you would be interested in some of them. Um, so Joanna Krause Johnson couldn't be here. She's at her cabin in Ely. So, yeah, that's a quick, you know, we have Gordon Manning who drives in from Massachusetts, from Maine to get here. So we're going to need to shame these people into, into coming here next time. Uh, Mary Jo Schleif sent one. She's working today. Come on. And I got one from Dalen, who always would always call me Byram. And so he starts out with Byram. I will not be in attendance. Good idea. And then he signed it, Dalem. So. And John Vitt is, uh, got something else going today. It's amazing how many people have a doctor appointment on this day at this time. How is that possible? Uh, Dorothy Hansen. I think you remember Dorothy Hansen. She, well, she said, and I'm going to read this. Uh, she, well, she has another commitment. But she said, I would love to see everyone, but probably wouldn't know too many. I've been gone too long. Well, it's the people she used to work with that are going to be here. <laughs> I didn't quite understand that one. Did you tell her that? No. I, I thought maybe one of you would. I'll tell her that. <laughs> um, and Joanne, probably the most recent retiree, um, a doctor appointment. Doctors uh, are incredibly busy on this time of this week. Eldo Schmidt uh, would like to have come. He can't make it. Uh, Luann had other plans. Luann Perry had other plans for the day. Uh, let's see. Now there was a uh, kind of a sad one, if I can find it. Oh, right here. Um, Marlis Larson, who used to work at Brooklyn Park Campus. She's very professional. You know, everything would, would be done right. Well, her husband sent me uh, this one. It said, Marlis Larson will not be attending she is in a memory care unit in the late stages of Alzheimer's. So she has been there two years, unable to walk, feed herself, carry on a conversation. So, so that is too bad. So, um, otherwise, we had we had several others, but they're pretty much the same. They all had something else going, or they're out of. One uh, is babysitting a ranch. Someplace. Um, oh, and he had to babysit a ranch. But this one from Don Delaney, at first he said he was c considering coming up here, but he decided to wash his car instead. Oh, that's oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, yes. We have, we have a person going to Africa. Um, well, anyway. There, there's, there are very good reasons for, for not being here. I don't really approve of any of them, but I'm sure to them. Now, we have a display board over here, if you haven't looked at it. Um, the things on the left are all the older items, and then on the right we have pictures of what the campus looks like. Now, it, if you haven't been back there in the last four years or so, it has really, really changed a lot. That entire administration area in the middle, that's all, that's a library now. 
and uh, the media department where I work, that's the offices for um, um, like Patty, where's, what's that called? Um, anyway, those, those are all offices back there. Registration, thank you. I've been gone so long, I tend to forget as much as I can about that. And then there are some documents laying there that are fun. Um, there's a graphic arts uh, booklet that's put together and it has a section in there on Otto Lostin's 39th birthday party. So he really, he really was young at one time. And I don't know. I didn't hear back from him, yes. I was at the Courage Center and yeah. I saw Otto Lostin having rehab oh. in the water with a, a, a facilitator. Okay. And he was good, but I don't Did know he? why. Okay. He Some, something happened. Um, and so by, um, by looking at these old things, it just reminded me, um, I was a student at HTC in 1973. I started it in, in September. So it was about three months after the school had its open house, you know, grand opening. So the school was very new, it was a student for a year and a half, and then I started working in 75 and worked from then on. And there was one job that I, just as a student observing it, and then as a new employee observing that I thought I could do that job. That was the assistant campus director job. <laughs> because you could have done it. What, what the assistant campus director, and if you don't remember or don't know, they had, uh, one of the functions was to s stand by the cafeteria and say, don't bring coffee in the hallway. That was one. And then no food in the, you know, eat it in the cafeteria. That was one job. How would you like to say a few words? No. Oh, okay. Um, and then the other job, when there was going to be a faculty staff meeting in the auditorium, an all day meeting, it was their job to say, we're going to take a break at 9 o'clock. We'll have lunch at 11.30. 2 o'clock, another break at 3.30. Excuse me. And I'm thinking, I could do that. I could do all those things, but uh, by the time I became qualified to do that, uh, there was no more assistant. And, and not only assistant campus director, but there were two of them at one point. There was campus director, there was two assistants. So apparently they had to split up the, the workload between the two of them. So that's about all I've got. Uh, I just want to make sure we have your contact information there. And uh, enjoy yourself. Either. Either get the uh, buffet or order off the menu.